Stay tuned to the end for the proposed schedule for 2022 and a list of basic supplies. Hello and welcome to Paint Along Tuesdays. I'm Lynn Looney, the host of that group. It's a public group on Facebook as well as I do a free Paint Along tutorial every Tuesday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time at Lynn Looney Studios. Paint Along Tuesdays is a group under that pro page. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. At the end of this video, I'll tell you a little bit about my background and some of the things I've done in the past. I've uh, worked as a professional artist on my life, but not always painting paintings. Uh, this came about um, in March of 2020 with the COVID lockdown. Uh, all my classes and my uh, workshops were canceled. And... Um, I was kind of at a loss like everybody else. We didn't know what was going on, what was going to happen, how life was going to turn. And so just for sanity saver, I started painting online. Um, originally, I invited folks to just look over my shoulder and watch me paint. But I had a number of my regulars who were tuning in and said, Lynn, what are you using? And Lynn, why are you doing that? And what, what's, what are you, you know, well, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was quite evident I probably just needed to go ahead and teach. And uh, so I did. And we do a new design every Tuesday. Uh, every month, uh, we now do a theme. And that's helped me to organize things and get it a little better together. Um, I originally started this when it was a lockdown. A lot of people wanted to start painting, but they didn't really have access. They didn't want to go out to the stores. They, you know... Um, it was, life was kind of in a turmoil. So I tried to keep the supply list as simple and basic as possible. Obviously, you can add on to this. I have some people who were in my classes uh, whenever we were doing live sessions that were absolutely addicted to uh, craft and art supplies. I'm sure none of you know anything about what that's like. But anyway... Um, very quickly to tell you, our format on Paint Along Tuesdays is an 11 by 14. Uh, I usually work on a canvas, but you're welcome to work on watercolor paper or board, whatever you might have on hand. Um, and uh, if you don't have any paints yet, I work in acrylics. Now, some of my people will work in watercolors and uh, some have worked in oils or making the transition. I work in layers. And we let stuff dry in between layers. We don't do as much blending as you would in oil paint. So it's quite a different approach. Um, so everything I was going to talk about, I would recommend just getting a simple set. Of, oops, excuse me. Uh, this happens to be Winsor Newton set. And there's 10 different ones with your basic colors in there. Um, I'm talking about doing a, a small, simple investment. I personally am more partial to just craft brushes, and I recommend that you have at least three sizes. You wanna have a small, medium, and large. Um, a lot of times I'll do base coating. This is a very old and very well-worn chip brush, but um, that makes doing a background a very quick and easy. So I'm, I'm uh, like I said, I'm telling you, the bare minimums for a palette uh, you can just use a styrofoam plate um, or a white plate i prefer that you use something white or clear uh, instead of doing it on a pattern or a color because different colors next to each other change that color and we'll get into that i will talk about uh, artistic um, um, terms and uh, verbiage um, i have my degree in art and although um, some of the folks who come into the paint alongs are experienced and veteran painters, a lot of the folks that come in are brand new. I have people from all walks of life, all age groups, um, homeschool kids, up to retirees who are picking up a paintbrush for the first time in their lives in, in their 80s and everything else in between. So each session is approximately 90 minutes. We do a painting from beginning to end. Okay, all of these that are stacked here behind me are pieces that we have done. Not all of them, but this is just a portion of the ones that we have done in that length of time. And I try and do a variety of subjects. We might do florals. In fact, I think April is our flower month. 
Um, sometimes I'll do still lifes and we might just fit those in kind of in between uh, March and August are ladies month. And so there's a whole variety of different ladies that we do. Uh, landscapes, um, that often falls in November, but just like in September when we're doing fall designs, uh, here's a landscape um, primarily of fall autumn colors. Uh, May is traditionally our patriotic month and we'll do these and uh, so you're, you've got uh, artwork that you can decorate your home with or gift somebody with um, for May um, and Memorial Day or Fourth of July. Uh, traditionally, January is our snow scene month. This was one from uh, January 2021. 20, and, um, and then everything else in between, okay? Uh, you can go, okay, now that brings me to joining the group Paint Along Tuesdays. The advantage of doing that, if you join that group, which is public, anybody can join it, then you can hit the notifications. And every time I put something up and all of the posts that are related there are related to the Paint Along Tuesday designs. Uh, as a member, you are invited to put up and post your own version of what we have done. Any of the Paint Along Tuesday designs from the very beginning, from 2020. Um, but if you're enthusiastic about the things that you've done, maybe in other workshops or whatnot, and like to share with the group, that's done on Lynn Looney Studios, not on Paint Along. Paint Along is strictly for the Paint Along designs. I will occasionally... I mean, it is my page after all, my group. Uh, I will put up, because um, I also do uh, something quite different, and that's doing abstracts. And, um, and that time slot varies, uh, but it's usually also a weekday. And these happen to be on paper, but oftentimes I'm working on large canvases. That's another animal altogether. Okay, uh, also this video is to help... Um, Seniors, which many of the people who come to the paint alongs are uh, retirees or folks of a certain age, uh, we may not be the most computer literate of folks that are out there. Uh, so I'm going to take a minute to explain how you, if you want to be supportive. Maybe you like listening to the videos, but you don't want to paint. And I do. I have people who come in and uh, they just like listening to it because I'll... I'll share stories from my past. Like I said, I'll tell you a little bit more about my background in a minute. Um, and anecdotes. Uh, sometimes we'll talk about color theory. Sometimes we'll talk about composition. Sometimes, we'll, you know, it varies. We have a good time. It's a very relaxed, enjoyable, and very supportive atmosphere. So you don't need to be afraid of posting your artwork or, or the pieces that you've done. Um, there's, no, uh, there's no pettiness and no criticism allowed. Um, you always, always, always um, can improve, but not unless you're painting and not unless you're practicing. It's like anything else, people. Uh, roller skating or riding a bike or, or any other kind of motor skills. Painting is actually a motor skill, and the more you do it, the better you're going to get, okay? But you got to start somewhere. All right. Um, so when you go to Lynn Looney Studios, this is what you're going to... Oh, this is Sweetie. And she has very bad kitty manners. Yes, you need to go be somewhere else. Okay, go. All right. When you go to Lynn Looney Studios, uh, you're, this is what you're going to see. And um, over here is a little thing that says follow. Now, you want to do that. That's my pro page. Um, because you'll also, uh, th that page is not only for paint along announcements, but it's for anything art related. And I'll put up artist quotes. I'll put up other things that I've done before COVID happened. That was where I would put up local announcements of shows, of gallery openings, of, uh, various things like that. Um, those things are kind of on hold still. Uh, so the uh, the page has evolved as we all have in the last couple of years uh, but that way you will be able to post on lynn looney studios if you've got some additional artwork that you'd like to share of things that you have done okay 
Um, and that's always good because I've got some folks who are not shy about posting and it's obviously that they're just beginning, but it's great for them to make themselves available and be transparent and put the work out there. I have been painting my whole life. So let me tell you a little bit. I started painting, I think my first lesson was like at five and I was in earnest as an oil painter in my 10, 12, 14 year old age. Um, then I switched over to acrylics, mainly because I had allergies on the materials. And it just was such a lengthy process. Um, I have an aptitude for large scale. Uh, I have been doing theater backdrops and uh, set design almost for over 40 years. And that's 40 for oh, 40 years. Um, the large scale aptitude led to billboard painting back in the day in the um, uh, early 80s. Uh, nowadays, it's big pieces of vinyl out on the highway, but way back when you had to have artists who painted the boards, and that's what I did. And the large ones out on the interstate are 14 by 48 feet. So I'm telling you, I have an aptitude for large scale, and um, no board I ever spent more than a week on any of those big boards. Um, I just... It's kind of the way my brain works. I uh, moved out to Atlanta. I'm originally from Central Texas. I moved out to Atlanta in uh, 1988 and um, discovered the party industry, the special events industry. And I worked for the leading company there in Atlanta for a couple of years. And we did huge events in ballrooms and convention centers. Um, so that was a neat experience. And then that segued into me doing some mural work and faux finishing. And then for another decade or so, that's what I did. And um, in my photo albums at Lynn Looney Studios, Lynn Looney Studios, uh, if you go down to the photo albums, you'll see some of those portfolio pages. I also have an Instagram account and I have a YouTube. And that's where this video happens to be on. And that's what... Um, I'll be do and, and here's <laughs> the important thing. Let me get back. Let me back up uh, to seniors being supportive of my page and um, it both on Facebook and on Instagram and on YouTube. You want to comment, not just like um, and a thumbs up. It's nice to have, but there's so many people on the social medias that that doesn't have much of an effect anymore. Uh, if you wanna make an impact and if you wanna help, make a comment and even share those. And especially on YouTube, uh, putting those thumbs up and positive comments down on each and every one of those videos. Like right now, at this point, like I said, January, 2022, I've got nearly 60 videos up and I'm, excuse me, <clears throat> And I'm continuing to put up more pieces um, as we go. But I, uh, folks, you're looking at the whole crew. It's me, myself, and I. I'm the cameraman. I'm the script writer. I'm the editor. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the star of the show and all of that stuff. So, um, and this is, this is like a reality show. You know, if I get sick or my grandkids get sick because I help with those, my daughter has gone back to uh, college and, and doing a lot of her classes on Zoom, but she still has two very active little sons and I pitch in and I help with them a great deal. Uh, so life happens sometimes and sometimes I have to either postpone a lesson or advance, but you know, it's real, it's real. Uh, my presentation is not for everybody, you know, but it's the, the, the social media, the internet out there is huge. And, um, you know, if you like the stories, the anecdotes, if you like the way I teach and the way I present, then, you know, you found a home and welcome to you. Um, and share, 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 share both on Facebook and share both on um, YouTube. Um Getting back to my background. Uh, in 2005, I had a nearly bad accident. I had a car wreck. It was not my fault, uh, but it 
um, interfered with my ability to load and unload my truck and go out and done scaffolding and ladders to do my mural and my faux work. So I went into the studio and started painting. And that was going pretty good until about 2008. And you know kind of uh, what happened with the economy and galleries closed and, you know, stuff happened. Um, the, oh, let me see, 2009, 2008, 2009, 2009, 2008, I moved back to Texas. Mom had a recurrence of her cancer. I'm an only child. I went back and I helped her. And I started abstracting uh, for my own sanity's sake. And I started selling on eBay. Um, then I moved. And I moved up to Tennessee. That, uh, after my mom passed, I moved up to Tennessee. And I didn't really paint and do that much for a while. And then in 2010, I started back up. Okay, so we're in another gallery and I'm painting and life's going good. And then I had a freak accident. I fell and broke my hip. Uh, so now I can't do my big scale stuff. I can't manage. I can't, I can't walk. Um, so what can I do? After a couple of months of having a pity party and feeling sorry for myself, I started uh, teaching because I had lots and lots of life experiences and I had um, a variety of of background so I could adapt and help lots of different people in lots of different directions and when I started teaching the classes uh, I just kind of kept it open and people came in and some people wanted to do impressionistic some people wanted to do realism some people wanted to do watercolor some people wanted to do acrylics uh, maybe you know and so I just helped the individuals kind of get where they wanted to go um, and you know one thing led to another and then COVID hit so, you know, it pays to be adaptable, it pays to be flexible, and that brings us to where we are here and now, all right? So that gives you a very brief um, introduction to me and my approach. Um, I'll be updating this uh, again in another couple of years, I hope. Uh, in the meantime, um, over a hundred different designs that we've done and we're going to continue to do. Go to Paint Along Tuesdays on Facebook and scroll down. You will see past uh, videos that are still up and running. Uh, you'll see past designs that I've posted, other announcements. If it's someplace you would you think that you might uh, like to be a part of, we welcome you and can't wait to hear from you. Um, don't be shy, you know. Uh, come in in my live uh, presentations. I've got a group, of, and they've got the 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 a lot of the followers have gotten to know each other. I've got regulars that come in from Arizona, Colorado, um, Florida, Texas, Tennessee. You got lots of regulars around Tennessee, Kansas. You name it. Uh, different states from all over, and even I've got some uh, some folks over in Europe that tune in as well. Um, so that's the marvel of the internet that lets us um, interact and become pen pals. This is a very special type of pen pal, and you're going to be surprised at how many people here you've got a lot in common with. Uh, we relate. We talk the same language. We understand each other, and it's more than just a painting class. Um, it's a, uh, a safe and enjoyable place to come and uh, share an hour or so each week. So, middle of this nuisance. Uh, thank you again. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, just direct message me or put it down in the comments and I'll get to you and let you know. Um, but again, welcome to Paint Along Tuesdays. Can't wait to see your versions of the things that we do in there. Introduce Sweetie Cakes. I think to introduce Sweetie Cakes to And here is our 2022 proposed list of designs. Uh, each month, as I said, is a different theme, and then every week is a new design in that particular theme uh, for the next year. Um, Next is our supply list. Very basic, very simple to get you started, and then you can add to that as you go. All right, see you at Pingalongs.